Sister Ayo. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hallelujah. We thank God for the grace to uh, for the grace of seeing this new day. It's a privilege to be here. It's time to worship God and to just give Him praise and to magnify His holy name. Um, in in just two minutes, I just want us to you know just thank God for the gift for the gift of life and for his faithfulness we thank you jesus just connect to him this morning we thank you lord for your goodness thank you for your kindness thank you lord for your power we thank you for your love that you have blessed us with we thank you lord for the love that you have set before the foundation of the world we thank you holy spirit we thank you we magnify your name we thank you because we are confident of the fact that our king reigns and he reigns forevermore just oh, lift up the name of the lord most high in our houses this morning wherever you are just lift him up wherever you are right now we want to fill our houses with the name of the lord the bible says that the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run into it and they are made safe. Amen. We thank you, Jesus. We know that if we run into the name of the Lord, we will be made safe. And we want the presence of God in our households and in our families this morning. In Jesus' name, we pray that as we worship you, we ask that God, you will accept our worship and our thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Lay a crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay a crown. And worship you, oh glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crowns and worship, oh glorious God. We praise your name. We lay our cross and worship you. Oh, be lifted, yes, Lord, oh, oh Lord, the God. Lay our cross. And worship you, oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay a cross and worship you, yes, oh, oh, glorious God. We praise your name. Mm, we lay our cross and we worship you. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our cross. And worship you. We praise your name, yes, Lord. We lay our crowns, every crown, and worship you. Oh, glorious God. We praise your name. 
we lay our crowns and worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. We lay our crowns and worship you. Your name, oh, Jehovah, is Jehovah is your name, oh, Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, your grace in battle, Jehovah is your name, yes Lord, yes, yes, mm. In your name, oh Jehovah, is your name, Jehovah, is your name, oh Jehovah, is your name. Mighty warrior, your grace in battle, Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, your grace in battle. Mm -hmm. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Receive our worship, our praise. To me, I cannot tell it all. If I had ten thousand tongues, it still would be enough. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it more. If we had ten thousand tongues, 
it still would be enough. Jesus, break it more. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Yes, what shall we render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Nara, 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 kalemo. Somebody said, nara, 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 kalemo. Rekelemo. Nara nara hi, nara kelemo, nara kelemo. Nara nara hi, nara kele, nara kelemo. What shall we render oh, to Jehovah? <laughs> For he has done so very much for us. What shall we render yes, Lord, to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for us. Nara, 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 nara. Nara, kalemo. Nara, 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We magnify your holy name. We adore you and we honor you. We thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want uh, uh, Baba to lead us in prayer, please. Fresh the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Fresh Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, take control. We start by. We want to start with one song that sings, I put my hands in your hands, O Lord. I put my hands in your hands, O Lord. I put my hands in your hands, O Lord. I can't obey Jesus' name. As we sing this song, let us be deliberating on the words, the words, what is of this song. Let us deliberate, let us think deep on the words of this song as we sing unto the Lord Almighty. Yes. I cannot fail, oh, Jesus never fails. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord most high. Yes, you are the Lord. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, all the prayers I want to start in reverse order. First and foremost, mm -hmm. there is a sister. Mm -hmm. There is a sister in our midst. Yes, you are thinking, yes, okay, I am. It's like you okay. sitting and resting on uh, underneath a tree, a very big tree with big leaves. You know, with you, you are thinking, yes, I am in a place, oh, after all, I have shade over me. Yes, after all, yes, I am comfortable. But I am asking you, yes, I could see you, it's like you are, it's like somebody having a trust that, okay, yes, I have gotten what I want. But one thing I want you to do this morning, whatever is that heart, your heart desire, that you think, yes, you've gotten it. Oh, yes, yes, I've gotten it. You should ask the Lord first. Father, is it the right person? It's a sister. He's not married. Yes, Lord, is this the right person? Yes, indeed, yes, I want this. I want this man. I want this something. Is it the right thing? Father, direct me. I want you to pray. I, well, I don't know the sister, but I want the sister. It's in the church of God. It's among us, in the family of God. I want you to search your mind and pray. Father, yes, this man. Oh, yes, this person. Is it the right person to me? Father, I want you to pray and ask God. Father, if it is not your wish, oh Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in my life. Father, direct me. Oh Lord, direct my way, direct my course. Direct my way, direct my course. Father, I don't want to miss it, oh Lord. I don't want to miss it, oh Lord. Father, direct me, oh Lord. Order my steps, oh Lord. Whatever action I'm going to take, let it be that which is directed by you. Whatever thing I... I want to do, Lord, let it be that directed by the Spirit of God. Oh, Lord, my God, help me, help me in my journey of life. Help me, even in the journey of life, I want to start. Oh, Lord, oh, Father, you are the only one that can put it, that can give me shade. You are the only one that can give me peace, oh, Lord. You are the only one that can give me a rest of mind, O oh Lord. Unto you, I direct everything. Unto you, I focus my mind. Unto you, I focus my life. O oh Lord, be the controller of my life. O oh Lord, be the director of my life. O oh Lord, take charge, take control. Direct me, O oh Lord, even in my desire. O oh Lord, come in, O oh Lord. Speak your word, O oh Lord. I want to hear from you. I am telling the sister, he should learn to hear from the Lord, that the Lord Almighty should direct it. Our cause, oh Lord. You should hear from the Lord Almighty before she takes that action. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let your will be done, O oh Lord. Let your will be done, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Jesus, my name, we pray. We are going to pray for the families generally, but it's going to be segmented. We will pray first for our children that their glory will not be overshadowed, that the glory of our children will not be covered, that the glory of our children will not be covered. It will not be overshadowed by any force or forces of darkness. The glory of our children, it will not be covered, it will not be overshadowed. The Lord will make them to shine and shine where. The Lord will pronounce them. The power of God, the glory of God, the might of God will come upon them, O Lord. The powers of darkness will not have power over them. The powers of darkness will not have power over them. We soak them all with the blood of Jesus. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. Let the power of God Almighty be their strength. Let the power of Almighty be their strength. 
Let the power of God be their strength in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that God will give them on, uh, we give them understanding. God, with the Almighty, will pronounce them, will promote them. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We worship and bless your name. We worship and bless your name. There is another sister. This time around, a married sister is having a family. Oh, yes, we pray. Oh, Lord, my God, in my place of God, in my place of work, Father, be my God. Guy, who will be my shield? Whatever is the tension, whatever is the tension in that place of war, Father, come in and take control. When God fights for, for you, you will win. When God fights for you, you will be victorious. The holy emotional that God in my place of work, whatever is the tension that is causing panic, that is causing headache, Father, come in and douse every tension. And that was every tension. Let God come in. Let the power of God take care. Let the power of God come in. Let the power of God come and fight for you. Let the fire of the power of God come and fight for you. Let the power of God come and quiet every tension. Kangala galaga la monsun doro go sinkeri bo shandara. Maile kaisa tari matun dori makinta gunte gala doro go sakiye. Ah kala ba 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 ba. Emeli gala bo suturi masinda ya katuri. Ya kundi luria kazuli kaiende re mo kundari ala turu masindiria. There is nothing that God handles that. There is any failure, God will ever win. You will ever be on top. Just call upon the name of the Lord. Just put everything in the hand of the Lord, saying that you will be victorious. Whatever is their many, whatever is their crowd, God will break that jinx. God will break that gang up. God will break that gang up. God will break that gang up. You will be victorious. You will be victorious. You will be on top. Whatever it is, you will smile at the storm. You will glide on the top. You will glide at the top. You will sell fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Mako robo seke yinderi mako sekiri guzili munderi agalakoto robo seke yinderi bodu kara. Grace satali manda libo tuki yikiri musunderiya. Thank you, Jesus. We will pray for the Church of God, our CCG, Glory of God, Paris, etc. That God Himself should take control of the Church. That no evil. No evil, I say, again, will come against the church of God, that the power of God will knock off every evil, that the power of God will push away every forces of darkness. Whatever, however strong the forces thought they are, God is always on top. God's power is always superior. The superior of our power of God, let us pray, will douse every tension of darkness, will douse every power from the pit of hell. Now God, the same power that resurrected Christ from the dead, will resurrect the church, will make the church to move on, will keep the church standing in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever is our prayer, even before we ask, God will answer us. Even before we ask of the Lord, God will answer us. Lumbelike remo shandarabo se kiriju, malagati gajin duri gondur abasi diria, ma se kedi tumbelike tundarabu zulia kampalike tu galia. Oh yes, Lord, me geti galituria. Joselite rumasun teke palura sun toria. We pray that God Almighty should visit us, that the Spirit of God should begin to move like never before, that the power of God should begin to move in our midst. Like never before, we want to feel the presence of the Lord. We want to feel the power of the Holy Spirit. We want the Lord to come and do wonderful things in our midst. Wonderful miracle, unspeakable miracle, miracle that people will hear and panic and ask you, how did you do it? Father, come and do in our midst, O Lord. Oh, Lord, my God, let heaven begin to open up on our CCG glory of God parish. 
Let heaven begin to open upon every household. Let heaven begin to open upon every family. Oh, yes, Lord, we shall be victorious. <clears throat> we shall be victorious. We shall be victorious. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall be on top always. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not fail. We will not fail. We will not fall. Oh, Remo Sunga Rabose Neriha. Nambra Balabala Balabala Balaba. Maleke Remo Sanduri Amamo Sunti Galika. Kaiku Sandule Amaleke Shindari Amamo Sunto Kunti Galaguto Rika Dilia. Maiki Saila Sunduri Mo Kuzunde Yike Di Mazende Yi. Aka. Father, we commit every situation unto your hand, O Lord. We are carnal. We are human beings, O Lord. We need you in every aspect of our life. Father, come in and take charge. Come in and direct us, O Lord, in our thoughts, in our ways, in our ways. Father, direct us, O Lord. Direct our feet on our path. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There is another younger brother, Luma Sekeyinda Ramosin it's only time. In the course of time, the place of your work, the work you will be doing or you are doing, will take you to travel. Ask that God Almighty should lead you in every way, should guide you in your thought, should guide your thought in everything you do that God first, my Kusandiria. <clears throat> In Kilikateria, I'm predict I'm saying it in the future now. Very soon, the place you are walking, it will take you because I could see you moving. It's like a, a, a a moving in a kind of way as if you are traveling. You must say yeah, traveling all over the world, kind of. Oh Lord, that God Almighty will protect you first and foremost. That God Almighty will guide you. Riki ye kuriama senderi kanduria. That no matter the uproar, no matter because you see, in the course of your work, there might be some sort of jealousy. That God Almighty will take absolute control. That no matter what, God will put you on top. That no matter what, you will always be victorious. That no matter what. God will make you to shine, and God will close the mouth of your enemies. Maikura kusa yandu rimo kusoko tori magintra, kaisi duria makinde yingrobo sateli kiketunga liya, mailu kandu mozu litere kusaturi kajili, mailu kasinde liki remo sandalu kusunda rakonda shidiria, makudi, makudi, mali asinde yinki takunta kunderia po shidiria. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We worship and bless your name. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name. Father, we believe you are with us. Father, we believe you are doing something even right now. Unto the household of God, we believe you are doing something in the minds and souls and the houses of people, in the families, oh Lord. I believe you are doing something right away. Father Malikarumbu Shinarabo Sindiria. All those promises, oh Lord, let them manifest quickly in the mighty name of Jesus. The manifestation of all your promises to your people. Father, manifestation of it, let it happen now. Physical manifestation, let it happen now. Let it not be too long, oh Lord. Let it not be too long, oh Lord. Let it not be too long. Oh Lord, let us pray for speed. Let let us pray for speed. Let us pray for speed in everything we are doing. The speed of God, when God grants you the speed, the tension will be reduced. You won't even feel it. You won't even feel the effort. In at a small effort, you will say big profit. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we need speed. Grant us speed in everything we do. Grant us speed in all areas of life. Oh, Maseka Yandaria. We bless you, Daddy. We bless you, Daddy. We hand over to you, O Lord. Holy Spirit of God, take charge, take control. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit of God, take charge, take control. Lima seka yandoriha. Wore maleka terebo sunduri momo sina yakunduriha. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Thanks you. Thank you for answered prayers. Thank you for being with us, O Lord. 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 Oh, hallelujah to your name. O Lord, soak us in your blood. O Lord, soak us in your blood. 
pray for, for each and every one of us, Lord. Pray for the church of God. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Over to you, Pastor, sir. Let's honor Holy Spirit in our midst. Let's just magnify him. Let's just sing songs of praise and honor. Let's just magnify and bless the Lord. Let's give him glory. Let's reference the Lord. Your presence is Thank you, Spirit of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glorious God, we honor you. We bow We bow you into the space. I invite you into our homes. I invite you into our homes. The Bible says that for other things. And I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. of the living God, we pray that your anointing will come upon the world. Amen. We pray that you will touch lives, you will save souls, you will heal every wounded heart, you will encourage everyone that needs encouragement. Amen. Every head that is bowed, Amen. let such heads be lifted up. Amen. Everyone Amen. that is discouraged, put smiles on their face, O oh Lord. Amen. Lord. I pray by the manifestation of your spirits, destroy every forces of hell. Amen. In the name of Jesus, any, any wizard that is roaring against anyone in this prayer line, I ask them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray again, any witch that is roaring, in the name of Jesus. anyone in this prayer line, I decree you that witch, I stand upon the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree you are cursed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Every power from hell that is waging war against the people that God has sent, I pray, let them be cursed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord. Fear not, says the Spirit of the living God. Fear not. Don't you say your heart, for the Lord God is mighty and his presence is awesome in our midst. Cast not away your confidence, which has a great recompense of reward. Blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. It is a new day in your life. Amen. It is a new day. Portals of glories are open in heaven, and the Lord is doing new things concerning our lives. He's doing new things concerning this church. New things. Because we are the church. Every life here, they are passing through the construction house of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We are being refashioned, being remade by the Lord. And I pray we all shall come out as good in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
praise God. Our theme for the month is salvation of souls. The objective of the vision for this month are this. One, for those that are not born again, to lead them to Christ, that they may know the Lord, that they may be saved, that their names may be written in the book of life. In John chapter 3, verse 3, the Bible says that, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he shall not see the kingdom of God. And number two, the second objective for the teachings of this month is for those that think they stand, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. He said, He that thinketh he stand, he said, Let him take heed, let he fall. So that as many that think they stand, they take heed. Very similar to that in number three, which is the last one. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5 says, Examine yourself if you are still in the faith to remind ourselves and to examine ourselves if we are still in the faith. Before we go into the art of the message, by means of introduction, I would like to tell us that we are in the end time. Now, many things that Jesus has said in his word are already coming to pass. As part of the introduction, I would like to read the book of Matthew chapter 24. Perhaps I'll just dwell on the introduction to this message today. Why we need this message at such a time as this. To remind ourselves for as many that are saved and to begin to pray and witness to those pray for and witness to those who are yet to be saved. If we read the book of Matthew chapter 24, Matthew 24, I'll read from verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So the first sign that we are in the end time is that there will be deception. Let's keep this in mind. Verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and they shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. In verse 11, and many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. Verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Verse 13, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. In verse 14, and I'm going to pause for, for a while. And the gospel of this kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then <coughs> the end shall come. I pray the Lord will speak to us, minister to us, teach us his will today in Jesus' name. Amen. What really made me to think that we need to teach a little bit about eschatology is that many believers are getting confused in these times that we are in. I even thought, you know, everyone would be on the same page until I got a message from someone who was the vice joint campus leader on campus while we we're studying for undergraduate studies, my undergraduate studies in, in Nigeria, this brother was very much on fire. And he knows me to be a Bible teacher. And he asked me that, you see that God no longer answers prayer. We have many anointed vessels in the world, and yet we have COVID-19. You see that God is angry with all believers that we pray, and then our prayers are not answered. 
And then I invited this brother to do Bible study with me. The first thing we should keep in mind is that there are two types of prophecies in the Bible. There are conditional prophecies and there are unconditional prophecies. The conditional prophecies are tied to certain conditions. If you obey me, I will bless you. There is a condition. There is if that is attached to it. If you disobey me, I will punish you. That is a conditional prophecy. When God sent Nineveh, uh, uh, the, the prophet, to, to go to Nineveh, it was a conditional prophecy. If you do not repent, within 40 days, Nineveh shall be overthrown. Jonah was to deliver that message. But Jonah knew that the prophetic word God has given to him is a conditional one. He didn't want to go. He said, because if I go, then they will repent and God will no longer punish them. But Jonah really wanted them to be punished. However, there are unconditional prophecies in the Bible. Unconditional prophecies are prophecies that it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what you say, they must surely come to pass. One of such unconditional prophecies are the prophecies of the end time. Even if we pray, all these prophecies, I have a red letter Bible, all these prophecies written in red letter by the Lord Jesus Christ, one by one, they shall be fulfilled. In fact, in verse 35, Matthew 24, verse 35, Jesus Christ has this to say, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Jesus said, there is nothing. This word will surely be fulfilled. He said, in the end time, there will be pestilences. There will be wars. There will be rumors of wars. And in fact, in verse 7, the Bible says, when these things are beginning to happen, in verse 8, he said, all these are the beginning of sorrows. They are the beginning of sorrows, which tells us that greater tribulations are on the way. Something worse than COVID-19 will still happen. And I pray God will keep us in this end time in Jesus' name. And another thing we should keep in mind, just by means of introduction, is that how do you know that we're in the end time? In verse 12, Bible says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wash cold. Many people that were once on fire for God, they will be drawing back. People that once fast and pray and go on their knees and seek the face of God, the things of the kingdom of God will just begin to lose value. What is iniquity? Iniquity is a sin that entraps. There are different types, different dimensions of sin. There is transgression, there is trespass, there is iniquity, there is apostasy, there is reprobate mind. A man that has reprobate mind cannot be born again anymore because his soul has been sold to the devil. But if a man is trapped in iniquity, iniquity is a sin that comes with habits. In sins that has habits and is like a web that once a man is caught in it, to get out becomes difficult like addiction, addiction to alcohol, that is iniquity. It will abound in the end time. And many, the love of Christ, will begin to wax cold. All of these prophecies must surely come to pass. Jesus Christ tells us that if you begin to see these signs, know that we are in the end time. And keep in mind, if you go to the book of Peter, the Bible says that a, a thousand years is just like one day in the sight of God. God does not count years and days the same way we count it. We should keep that in mind. The prophecy of pestilences and famine is a must. It must surely come to pass. And when those prophecies come, Jesus Christ says it must surely come. It doesn't matter the anointing of the prayer. In fact, this month we'll be learning that we ourselves, we need to watch it. Let's continue in the book of Matthew 24. I'm still in the introduction. Why we need this message at such a time as this? If you read from verse 21, Matthew 24 from verse 21. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Jesus says in the end time, there will be tribulation. Some people are talking of climate change. Some are talking of uh, global inequality. 
as the scientists of this world are thinking of several things, but God did not tell us what it was, but he said, there shall be great tribulation. There is no amount of fasting and prayer we can do. The tribulation must come because it is a precursor to the rapture. For there shall be great tribulation, I mean, verse 21, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor shall ever be. And except those days be shortened, there shall be no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That is, these things will happen before the rapture of the saints, because the elect will still be around when there will be great tribulation. In fact, God says it is because of the elect, it is because of the Christians that God says he will shorten the days. That is, if the Christians were not there, in fact, the days would have just continued forever. But for the sake of the Christians that are walking in purity, seeking the face of God from the depth of their heart, God says, well, that tribulation that will be happening in the end time, I'll shorten the days. Why? Because of my people that are still there. Then in verse 23, then if any man shall say unto you, lo, there is Christ, or lo, there be, believe it not, for thee, there shall arise false Christ and false prophet, and shall show great signs and wonders. In so much, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Can we see that? God is saying that even in the end time, the people that are born again, true child of God, they shall be deceived. Why? Signs and wonders. Who are those doing these signs and wonders? Devil's agents. But they will call themselves Christ. But Jesus Christ says, don't be deceived by their signs and wonders. He says, check their fruits. Say, by their fruits, we shall know them. Shall know them. Not by the signs and wonders that they do. Don't follow a man because he's able to raise the dead. Don't follow the teachings of a man because he's able to speak and thunder strikes. Follow him because he is teaching the true word of Christ. He is living according to the dictate of Jesus Christ. That is a man you should listen to. He said, by their fruits, you shall know them. In verse 25, it says, for they shall rise false Christ, and false, verse 24, and false prophet, and show great signs and wonders, in so much that even the very elect, they, they will be deceived. As in the believers will say, no, 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 this is a man of God. However, it is the end time occurrence. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, it's in the desert, go not forth. He is in the secret chamber, believe it not. For the lightning shall come out of the west and there go to the west. In verse 29, Jesus is telling us the chronology. He says, immediately after the tribulation of those days that the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give a light. Even scientists are predicting that things like this may eventually happen. They are discovering some things that are maybe asteroids that wants to eat the planet or something that wants to, uh, we just missed it. If you listen to all the scientific news by NISA and uh, they are saying these things may happen, that if it happens, this is what may happen. That the sun, but Jesus Christ is telling us that this is happening. But he, he, he said, and stars shall fall from heaven and the parts of the heavens shall be shaken and there shall appear signs of the sons of man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the, of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and with great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great trumpet of a sound, with great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. Then Jesus will appear from heaven, and they will be righteous of the saints. Now, in verse 36, there is something I would like to point our attention to. This is just by introduction. In verse 36, Jesus Christ says that, but of that day and hour, knoweth no man. No, not the angels in heaven, but my Father only. Many people are beginning to predict that trumpets will sound before the end of 2020. A lot of prophets are just raising up. And social media has given them voice. A lot of teachers are teaching things that are not consistent with the word of God. Bible says, the day and the hour, the trumpet will sound, no man knows. The only thing Jesus Christ tells us is that the gospel of the kingdom of God will be preached in all nations of the earth for a witness 
and then the end shall come. Then who can tell when every single mortal on earth has heard the gospel? Nobody. Only God can tell. There are many countries, there are many people in the world that are yet to be saved. There are many people where they have not even heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, when that happens, then the, the trumpet will sound. One of the prayers that Baba led last week was that the trumpet was to be sounded and then he prayed that God will keep us to the end. That is the vision that God has put in my heart that is guiding this, this, this month's teaching so that we will examine ourselves again. Are we ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ? And then I need to let us know that if we follow because of our time, I may not be able to do an intense verse by verse teaching of Matthew 24, another scripture of the Bible. One of the things we'll see in this Matthew 24 is that after the rapture of the saints, in fact, Jesus Christ described how the rapture will be. If we go to verse 40, he described how the rapture is going to take place in verse 40. He says, then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the meal, the one shall be taken and the other will leave. That is how righteous will take place. It will just be catching, just like in the twinkle of an eye, the saints will be cut off with Jesus Christ. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. What is now Jesus Christ saying to us in verse 42? Watch therefore. For you know not what hour the Lord doth come. I would like to say this as members of Glory of God Parish, etc. Please do not be deceived. Because a lot of messages, a lot of teachers in these end times that are teaching things that are not in the Bible, just using their assumptions and their logic and their putting a lot of things together, putting it as prophecy, but it's not in accordance with the Word of God. Why am I saying this? Bible says just live ready. One of such teachings I have seen is I saw a man of God, you know, wanting to lead a revolution that they want to fight against the emergence of the Antichrist. If we follow this Bible teaching, we have, if we now go back to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, read from verses 13 to 17, and 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, we will see that the Antichrist cannot come except there is a rapture first. There has to be a rapture before the Antichrist can come. That is what the Bible says. That is what Jesus teaches us. It is when the saint has been taken that there will be chaos in the world. And from the emergence of that chaos, we arise the Antichrist. And let me warn, according to the word of God, the Antichrist cannot be overcome by political propaganda. It is not by fighting on Facebook and Twitter that people are going to overcome Antichrist. If you go to the book of Revelation chapter 13 and 14, the Antichrist is not just going to be a political leader, he's going to be given power by the beast, which is Satan. If we read Revelation 13, all through Revelation 13, the Antichrist will be empowered by Satan himself to do signs and wonders. And no believer that is not raptured, but maybe as a result of their own, uh, uh, living in carnality or they are not holy, they are not raptured, there is no prayer that can kill the Antichrist. Once the Antichrist comes, there is no fasting and prayer. The Antichrist will reign supreme until the Christ millennial reign will come and Jesus Christ will consume the Antichrist by the sword of his mouth. That is what Jesus Christ teaches. There are two types of Antichrist that the Bible talks about. There is the Antichrist, the man of lawlessness, that is talked about in 2 Timothy, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. And then there, are, there is the spirit of the Antichrist. The spirit of the Antichrist is a spirit that is against the gospel, that doesn't want the gospel to spread. Those are two different issues. The Bible says in 1 John that Many antichrists are now in the world. Of course, we find them. Many people hate Jesus Christ. They don't even want the gospel to be preached. In many countries, if you preach the gospel, you may be incarcerated. You may be killed. They hate Jesus and they make bold to declare it. However, 
If we are talking of the Antichrist, then they are talking about the Antichrist giving them a mark of 666. That is another error. 666 cannot be given while we are still here on earth. The saints are still here because by the grace of God, I will be part of those that will be raptured. I want you to declare the same for yourself. None of us will be left behind in Jesus' name. Part of those that will be raptured in Jesus' name. So it is for those that are left behind that will receive the mark of 666. I've seen some learned people sending videos to me that uh, they are on a project and the project is to give people 666. And once they receive that 666, they will go to a fire. I say, that is not true. That is not the gospel. The saints will have to be raptured. Those that are left in the earth, for them to do business, to buy food, to transact, they will need to get that mark 666. Because, and once they get that mark 666, they be given a reprobate mind. A reprobate mind means their soul is dedicated to the devil. They can no longer be redeemed. But even when the Antichrist comes, anyone that refused that 666 will go through great torment. But the Bible says some of them will still be saved in the end if they refuse the mark of 666. But this will happen not when the church of Christ, the blood-washed, born-again children of God are still here on earth. The Antichrist will only come, there will only be 666 when there has been a rapture of the saints. So these are the things that are happening. Two years ago, January 1st, our general overseer, Pastor E.E. Adeboe, after giving prophecies for the year in 2018, we can go back to it. He said, I have one last prophecy. He said, I have given many prophecies over time and it has come to pass. He said, God said this to me. Many of us can look for the tape. He said, God said, son, the end time, the countdown to the end has started. He said, the countdown to the end time has already started. So the clock is ticking in heaven. Whatever we do in our daily pursuits, in our family pursuit, raising our children, we should keep this in mind. And that is what the vision for this month is. That the first thing and the ultimate thing is for our soul to be saved, to be counted among the church that to be raptured, and not to be carried away with the dissimulation. Because the first thing Jesus Christ warned us of in the end time is that many shall deceive there shall be deception. That's the first sign of end time. Deception. Deception. And it grieves my heart that even the very elect, the people that are born again, as in, it, it pains my heart when I see people that are even leaders teaching things that, where is this in the Bible? Anyone that wants to teach us any doctrine as children of God, show it to me where it is in the New Testament, Show it to me where it is in the Old Testament. And it's, is it in the proper context? It is not something you are interpreting in your own way. It is permitted when you are preaching. But is it, especially when it comes to eschatology, it is, there is no, it is at it is. Rapture will come. Saint will disappear. That's what Jesus teaches us. There is no ease or boss. I pray the Lord will keep us in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Apostle Paul says, that any minister that God has called should be able to remind the saint of God these things. He said, I have taught you these things and I am free from your blood, that God will not judge me, that I have not taught the people what the Antichrist is. And I pray that on that day, none of us shall be found wanting in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So this is just the introduction to the salvation of soul. Number one, the introduction is, why do we need this message? We are in the end time. The end time is here. Will Jesus Christ come today? I don't know. Will he come in 2040? I don't know. Bible says the day and the hour, no man knows. Some people are even using science to calculate, you know, and I have a lot of intelligent people wiser than me, more academically astute than me, sending me videos that look at this. They are trying to prove things to me. Some of them, if I can teach them Bible, I teach them. Some I cannot teach. I just say, thank you, sir. One thing God said to me is, you just live ready. Just live ready. 
whether they are using science to calculate that the end of the world will come 2029 or 2023, I don't bother my head with that. I'm not a scientist. All I know is I'm a believer. And Jesus has told me the day and the hour, no one knows. It is only God that knows when the trumpet will sound and there will be rapture of saints and the end will come. And I pray all of us, our children, our loved ones shall be there on that day when the saints will be raptured to heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So these things we must keep in mind. Let no man deceive you. When the videos come, the Holy Spirit just told me, you don't need to worry yourself. You just live ready. Live ready. Even if the scientists are true, the word, the calculator of the head according to global climate and everything is 2029, it's fine. Let it, okay, let it, let it come to pass. But even then, it may not be true. It may even be tonight. If many people are saying, uh, maybe uh, I, I, I saw another person mentioning one billionaire, that the billionaire is the Antichrist that the Bible talked about. I just laughed. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. What's my thesis? Live ready. Be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Let's examine ourselves as many that are saved. Am I still working in faith? Is my garment pure? Bible says the Lord is coming for the church without spots or wrinkles. There are some things that are spots and there are some things that are wrinkles. There are some things that are sins. There are some things that are weights that can hinder us. I pray the Lord will help us. He will keep us uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray all through these months, the Lord will write his words in our hearts. This word will not be empty words, but it will be written in our hearts. It will shape us. It will guide us. The word of Christ will forever be living, and it will prepare us ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I want us to do something because I want to honor our time. I know we are busy people. We have things to do. Before we go, I will sing a song. I'll be singing some songs, but I want us to pray. Just examine yourself. If you know that there are spots, begin to ask God for mercy and ask God to cleanse you. If you know that there are wrinkles, ask God for mercy. I just want us to pray. And if you are not saved, this is the hour for you to invite Jesus Christ to your heart and say to Jesus Christ that I want to be saved. Forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life. I want to be among the saints that will be raptured with you when the trumpet sound. I want you to send your Holy Spirit to me. Take away every gene of sin, every cause of sin. Take it away. Give to me the gene of righteousness. Make it easy for me to live pure. Make it easy for me to, to live a righteous life. Take me away from the things that defiles, things that will hinder me from rapturing with Christ. Deliver me from them, Lord Jesus. This message is for me, it's for everyone. And I pray the Lord will have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. So let us pray. I pray the Lord will be with us in Jesus' name. Let's pray to God that the Lord will be with us. Will you be when the first trumpet sound? Where will you be when the first so loud? When it sounds so loud as to raise up the dead, where will it be when the sound? When wicked men is wrought shall cease, where will I be? And to the rocks and mountains flee, where shall I be? When hills and mountains flee away, where shall I be? When all the works of men decay, where shall I be? 
Where shall I be when the first trumpet sounds? Where shall I be when it sounds so loud? When it sounds so loud as to wake up the dead? Where shall I be when it sounds? Where will you be when the first trumpet sounds? Where will you be when he sounds so loud? When he sounds so loud as to wake up the dead? Where shall I be when he sounds? When heaven and earth shall and some great role, where shall I be? Shall fall, shall from God's as we presence roll. When shall I be? When all the century dim shall stand, where shall I be? Forever blessed as God's right hand, where shall I be? Oh, where shall I be when the first trumpet sounds? Where shall I be when it sounds so loud? When it sounds so loud as to wake up the dead? Where shall I be when it sounds? I want us to talk to God. God, keep me pure. Keep me true to the very end. Keep me pure. For those that are in this faith, if you are beginning to stray, come back home. And for those that are not saved, this is the hour to cry to God for yourself. And to say, Jesus, save my soul. Help me. Help me. Everything I'm still struggling with that is not your will, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Spirit of God, help me. Almighty Father, help me. King of glory, help me. Lord of laws, help me. Zope Iko Bala Sumbrato Shoglabrado Skataya. Lord, help me in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me not to be among them that we turn back unto perdition. Help me not to be among them that we turn back to perdition. Help me not to be among them that we turn back to perdition. Lord, keep me in your will. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Amen. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. Matthew 24, verse 13. Bible says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So that tells us there is ultimate salvation. When the trumpet sounds, it is those that are still in Christ that will be raptured with him. Let's say to God, God, give me the grace to finish strong. Give me the grace to finish strong. Help me not to end this race badly. Help me not to end this, end this race badly. Having prayed to God, fasted, believed the scripture, acted upon the word of God, Lord, help me. 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 Lord, help me in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. Help me, O oh God, to endure to the end. Help me not to fall by the wayside. Help me not to be among them that will be destroyed. Help me not to be among them that will be judged. Lord Jesus, save my soul. Save my soul. Grant, count me among them that will have the ultimate salvation. Count me among them that will have ultimate salvation. Cleanse me from within. Cleanse me inside out, Lord Jesus. Forgive every sin. Save the souls of our loved ones. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. It is my prayer that the Lord will keep us faultless before his throne unto the very end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, for I know him that I have believed. And I'm persuaded that he's able to keep what is committed into his hand against that day. We commit our soul, our spirit into the hand of God. Father, let them keep, keep us to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bible says it is not everyone that started well that finished well. He say it is only in that endures to the end that shall be saved. Help us to endure to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Mm -hmm. Deliver us by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power of the cross, from the cause of sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Every mm -hmm. sinful habit. Bible says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wash cold. Every sinful habit that wants to kill the love of Christ in the heart of any man, any woman, only goes destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God in Jesus' name. We'll continue from here next week. Uh, we have to stop here. The whole month is geared towards preparing us for the end time, salvation, sanctification, and the things to note from the word of God. And I pray the Lord, the Lord of the church, we count us among the faithful that will be raptured in the end once again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I... The Prime Minister will make a speech tonight at uh, 7 o'clock. Of course, from the papers we've read, we don't know to what extent, but uh, there will be easing of the lockdown as from tomorrow. So let's all hook up at 7 o'clock. From what the newspapers are reporting, most likely it will not ask the churches to open yet. But maybe Angel of God will appear to him before 7 p.m. Only God knows. If he asks us to uh go back to church perhaps as from wednesday first person you are going to see there is me praise god so uh but whatever he says we pray for our leaders god will speak through them in jesus name let's keep that in mind and also as we're praying for ourselves let's also pray for others and witness because this is the time for us to tell others about the love of christ the grace to witness the lord will give to us in the name of jesus christ to remind people that Amen. Just use this opportunity to tell them that Jesus is coming. That is all that. And the things that does not bother us, let's not just argue about it. For me, I've just given up. Um, all the scientists, different theories, different conspiracy, whether it's from Satan, it's from a billion, I don't care. All that matters most is God says, just be ready. Just be ready. So if the end wants to come, let it come. I just pray to God, God count me among them that we reign with you supreme and i pray the lord will have mercy upon us in jesus name okay. on wednesday we have uh, another service in god's presence and on sunday we continue let's reach out to one another in the course of the week the lord bless us all in jesus name amen 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 in jesus name praise god okay. is there any other aside, announcement i've forgotten or does anyone have anything to say before we go Okay, uh, it's offering time. Sorry, <laughs> offering. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's let's give God uh, offering. But aside from that, if we have any other thing to say, we can say it, and the Lord be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll hand over to the choir for for the offering songs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Angels are singing, you are worthy, oh Lord. They are singing, you are worthy, oh. Angels are singing, you are worthy, oh. They are singing, you are worthy, oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. El Shaddai, you are worthy, Lord. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Angels are singing, you are worthy, Lord. They are singing, you are worthy, Lord. Angels are singing, you are worthy, oh Lord. They are singing, you are worthy, oh Lord. Hallelujah, you are worthy, Lord. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. El Shaddai, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name.
Lord, we thank you for this offering. We thank you uh, for tithe. We pray, uh, Holy Spirit, that you will take control in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray, Lord, that all these blessings that we have received, the prophetic word, Lord, let it be with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray, let there be fulfillment of all the word that you have spoken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. Thank you, Lord. In name we have prayed. I pray this week that the Lord will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every good thing you bless upon will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord Jesus will be your strength, he will be your shield, he will be your guide, he will keep Amen. He will watch over you. There will be no sorrow. There will be no calamity in your household. The blood Amen. of Jesus will speak wonderful things concerning your life. Amen. In his name we are prayed. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. On Wednesday, we will we'll pray, but principally we want to have Bible study on Wednesday. And the Bible study is going to be a continuation of the Sunday school we have this morning. And uh, our Sunday school teacher will continue to lead us. Please let us all come. It is good for us to know the word of God and to know what the Bible says, because God is going to judge us, not by prophecy, not by anything, by this thing. This is the constitution of the word of God. There is, we want to study the word. Uh, Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God will give us knowledge in Jesus name. So we're going to pray, but we'll also have Sunday school. So we want to, um, we didn't finish the topic on anger today. We'll conclude on Wednesday, answer all the, all the, all the other questions. And if you have any other Bible-related questions, bring it to the Sunday school teachers. Let's study the word together as children of God, and the Lord will be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. So the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.